3.3 says to us, Oma intends on baking two milk tarts for her friends. So we could be asked what to do with that. Ne? Um, who will be arriving at 17.30, which is half past five in the afternoon. She uses the ingredients and information below. She can only bake one milk tart at a time. Oh, I love all this information that's been given because we're going to be asked about it. Um, while the first milk tart is in the oven, she prepares for the second milk tart in order to put it in the oven the moment the first one is taken out. A lot of English, ne? So we need to always come back and read our questions again if we feel like it's going to sharper us a bit. So we know to prepare is 30 minutes. For it to cook in the oven is 40 minutes. And we need a temperature of 325 Fahrenheit. We are in South Africa. We don't use Fahrenheit. So we know some way, somehow we might be asked to convert that to degrees Celsius. We know that one milk tot. Always read the information. One milk tot saves eight people. Then we are given all the in, in, in ingredients. Note that one cup is equal to 250 milliliters. So we're going to be working from known to unknown as well there as well. 3.3.1. Um, Oma would like the second milk tart to start um, tart to be taken out of the oven 15 minutes before her friends arrive so we know her friends are arriving at half past five we've been given that information there but she would like that milk tart to at least be out of the oven 15 minutes before they arrive um, that is what we know about that particular information that is given over there. Determine the time Oma must place the first milk tart in the oven. This is very interesting. So we know that Oma, her friends are coming at half past five. This is what time they are coming. Okay. And then we also know according to the information that is given above here that the cooking time for each one um, is going to be 40 minutes so we need to subtract 40 minutes of that and the 40 minutes of the second one as well but we also need to subtract um, the time of her friends arriving the 15 minutes before her friends arriving as well so that's what we are going to do um, in terms of our subtractions you need to know how to subtract time okay you need to know how to subtract time so in us doing our calculations our answer then should be 1555 we all have like a different method that we use um, to calculate time so please just use the method that you are acquainted to or acquainted with convert the baking temperature to degrees celsius remember i said to you and on top of that we need to then know um, how to round it off to 10 decimal places as well so degrees celsius the nice thing about this formula it is always given so we are given the fahrenheit as well Give the, write the formula that is given. So we are given in terms of Fahrenheit, 325 Fahrenheit. Because remember, South African stoves are not Fahrenheit. Ne? 325 Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 all over 9. Okay. 325. I'm going to put it in um, 325 minus 32. If you are insecure, you can do them separately, okay? All over 5 over 9. That is 162, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, um, going on and on. Seven recurring. However, it says that we need to round it off to the nearest 10 degrees. 
So this is 10. Okay, units, tens, hundreds. So this is closer to 60 than it is to 70. So it's going to be 160 degrees Celsius. Because on your stove, you can't say comma seven. Determine how many liters of milk Oma needs to bake the two milk tarts. So we know for one tart, for one tart, we need this much cups of milk. Four and one over four, which is like four comma twenty five. We need 4,25 cups. Okay. But we need our answer in liters. So we can convert it to liters a bit later on. So the reason why I'm using 4,25, I mean, you could use whatever that you want, but on your calculator, it will convert to that either way. So for two tarts, um, you need to cross multiply that and multiply it um, by 2. So we, we're solving for x. So it's going to be 2 times 4, comma 25 because this is a quarter of 100. Okay. 2 times 4, comma 25. That's 8 and a half. 8 comma five cups but we want it in liters and with the information that we've been given up here we know one cup is 250 milliliters one cup is 250 milliliters okay so eight comma five cups cross multiplication and divide 250 times 8 comma 5. 250 times 8 comma 5. 250 times 8 comma 5 cups is 2,125. 2,125 milliliters. So we know that there is 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So we divide this one, two, three times. So it's 2,125 liters. And that is how we find our answer in terms of that. So you will always be told when it comes to ingredients, ingredients are my favorite. Um, I feel like you can never get ingredients wrong, ever. Like, go practice those ingredients. Easiest, okay? Um, go back to your grade 10 ingredients. Go back to your grade 11 ingredients. It never changes. So we, we, we are told that one cup is 250 milliliters. That information is given on the, on the um, ingredients. However, we were not told how to convert milliliters to liters, meaning you need to know that information by yourself. So no one is going to tell you how to convert centimeters to meters. No one's going to tell you how to convert liters um, to kiloliters to milliliters. So you need to know that information by yourself.